in tune is monthly update and in this september month that is 09 that is why we call it as 09 september is 09 and 23 is 2023 in september month they have introduced a mam feature this is generally available now it was already in public review mam for windows devices if you want to use personal devices and the, if you don't want to enroll that personal devices fully into intune then you can use mam feature for it's especially useful for byo kind of a scenario so that is good right mam is generally available and now mac OS probably um, hasis will cover this but i will quickly say about a remote help option in mac os in the coming slides this is very very important and this is very useful feature configure refresh so this is very very helpful for many operational scenarios uh, this was one of the big challenge uh, when people compare with group policy and intune policies and microsoft is introducing this feature into 2309 version of intune and there's a catch we will see that in the later slides endpoint privilege management epm is now going to support windows 365 cloud pc is a um, dash solution dash is nothing but desktop as a service solution epm is supported in that scenario uh, i mean windows 365 support is also there with epm now so that is very, really good and there's a catch also over there we will discuss that in the later slide this is the bird view or helicopter view of all the updates came out in 2309 i just wanted to give a section wise update related to application management device configuration device management device security role based access and monitor and troubleshoot so it would be easy for you to quickly understand what is interesting for you in this particular update and which is the one you want to implement for your organization etc application management mainly 2309 version of intune is about mam general availability or app protection policies or conditional access related to that general availability we will come to that in a bit next slide that was all about app manage in the device configuration section you would be able to see config refresh settings that is the one of the important one i have mentioned in the first slide there are mac os apple settings catalog changes and new intune integration with zebra lifeguard that is also coming uh, in the device configuration there are lot of new policies are getting introduced device configuration mainly into settings catalog from a device management section what you can see is remote help for mac os that is one thing we have already discussed and management certificate expiration date that is also very very important uh, stuff so we have a post about that we published that yesterday also you can refer to that uh, if you want more details about it from a operational perspective this is very useful a defender application control updates are also available for this 2309 version 15.x a uh, version of ios ipad os will be minimum supported version for some scenarios uh, uh, but not for all the scenarios if you are using shared ipad then the scenario is different we have a post about that also it is n minus 3 or n minus 2 or n minus 5 kind of a scenario so if the current version is n that is 15 17 uh, the n minus 2 is 15 that is for the normal ipad os ios device if you are talking about shared ipad devices then it is n minus 5 if i remember well so there is a post about that i will link that post into the chat as well as into government tenant i am not going to concentrate on that again this is application control policy and managed installer etc that feature is added to intune 2309 and then if we go to device security you would be able to see windows 365 point which we have discussed in the previous slide elevation report by publisher that is again a new report introduced to intune with 2309 version mac os support intune endpoint security policies for endpoint detection and response that is really good so now mac os support is also there for mde kind of scenarios microsoft defender for endpoint kind of scenarios that is really uh, good linux support for same endpoint detection and response that is also coming in 
to this particular version of Intune. If you look at RBAC related scenarios in Intune, additional scope option available for update enrollment. I don't know exactly what. There's a new scope option available with Intune 2309. From a monitoring and troubleshooting perspective, updated report for update rings. The patching reports in Intune is always kind of improving. This is another improvement in that space. If you are using Intune for patching scenarios, then this is one of the update. Let's go to Windows MAM related topics. So we have discussed about MAM in the first slide. I have discussed about a catch also. This is the first thing you need to take care. Uh, you need to make sure that MAM user scope is enabled or to some or all. It depends on your organization policies. And then you can go with uh, conditional access policies also. So there's a conditional access policy. I think it is in preview at the moment specifically for app protection policies, etc. So you need to set that up also. Then you can set up the app protection policies from Intune portal. So that is all about MAM for Windows devices. This is for personal PCs, managing the corporate application in personal PCs using Microsoft Edge. At the moment, this, this is only supported with Microsoft Edge. And then this is the config refresh feature, which I was excited about in the first slide. So this is kind of automatic refresh, which is going to help a lot of uh, organizations in reinforcing the policies. In this case, you don't need to check in with Intune for this particular refresh. So what is the problem with a check in with Intune? That is again every eight hours. That is the default time schedule for checking with Intune. We don't need to wait for that if you set up this particular policy. Enable config refresh. This is available only for Windows insiders at the moment. That is the catch I was talking about. At the moment, this is not available in production. This is only available for Windows insiders. And this is another catch. What does the time you can set? Minimum is 30 minutes and maximum is 1440 minutes. So that is the time configuration you can set for this refresh. So this is very, very important. And this is the highlight of Intune 2309 from from my perspective and this is the next feature i'm excited about i have taken the screenshot from scott big shout out to him and this is the read only mac os device remote help using web application that is a good news for mac admins microsoft is introducing enhanced features for mac os overall along with other controls like settings catalog etc this is very promising thing from my perspective if move away from jam for example and use Intune as a Mac device management solution these small things are very very useful I would say I talked about EPM now we can use EPM for Windows 365 cloud PCs as well so that is very useful feature for the cloud PCs I mean what Microsoft is doing is they are reducing the gap between physical PCs and cloud PCs that line is getting blurred so probably in future there won't be any difference between a physical device and a cloud pc so that is what they are trying to do and these are the small steps uh, to enable that i think i mentioned about a catch over here so if you are talking about azure virtual desktop avd solution the this is not supported epm is not supported that was the catch i was mentioning about so these are the main slides which i wanted to present for intune 2309 new features general availability updates and highlights we don't have enough time to cover all the features in detail in this particular session of hdmd user group but you can refer to our blog post available in the description to get full details of intune 2309 version updates thank you for attending